Hi everybody, it's Film Optimist here. I know it doesn't look like it, um, but I swear to God it's me. Um, today I'm reviewing The Warriors, um, one of my favorite films of all time. Um, shot in the 70s, set in the 70s, the period piece. It's about a gang called The Warriors, and they go um, to this big, big group, um, this big uh, meeting of all the gangs in New York. Um... To, that's held by the most powerful gang in New York City, the Gramercy Rift. So it's in Gramercy Park. <clears throat> they go there, and the leader of Gramercy Rift, Cyrus, sends out like an invitation to everyone. The Warriors barely got it. Um, they're one of the lesser-known gangs. They're just on the come up. They've only been around for like three months or something like that, um, according to the video game. So, uh, led by their war chief, Cleon, um, they all go down there and they, they're listening to Cyrus, who has a really impassioned speech about how they can fight back against the police. They can form one gang. Uh, one gang can rule the city, he says. <clears throat> so then it's like, okay, well, let's get everyone together. Everyone's pretty much on, um, on the same page here, except uh, the rogues, uh, aptly named I would assume um it's like they're they're rogues huh like there's no fucking reason for this guy to do what he does but the leader of the rogues uh Luther I believe I hope I didn't get that wrong I'm pretty sure it's Luther um he's like hey just give me the he's like get yeah, Luther he's like he they brought a gun there's no weapons there's supposed to be no violence he has a gun shoot Cyrus while he's on stage and kills him really shitty because he's Cyrus is a great character um everyone panic just uh, ensues everyone's freaking out also the cops have shown up and they're kind of spying on this group as well on this big meeting <clears throat> so after he shoots Cyrus um, he turns around and he sees uh, Fox one of the warriors um white dude with the afro and he sees the colors he sees the vest that says the warriors and he's like I'll shoot this motherfucker now then and he goes to shoot him and then the lights come on that's when the police show up so everyone's freaking out well now luther sees an opportunity to place the blame on someone else he says the warriors did it and he tells all the riffs the warrior shot cyrus he, he did it tells him tells him that cleon did it he just picks the first warrior that he sees after fox and happens to be the war chief Cleon, great fucking character as well, um, gets beat to death um, by uh, the Gramercy Rifts. They all just fucking elbow him to death. And it's like, ah, oh, man, that's really shitty. Especially if you played the video game um, and know about the history of the Warriors. Just seeing the movie, it's kind of fucked up, but it's like, you don't really know the guy. Um, I believe there's like War Chief, and I forgot what the next person in line takes charge yeah though there's a war chief there's a leader um swan takes charge because he's the next in, he's the next in line so he gets it there's like some things going on between the group like uh between him and ajax ajax like who made you war chief i want to be war chief um i guess i should introduce the rest of the warriors i mean i to be less confusing we already talked about fox um there's also cowboy there's coaches there's rembrandt there is Snow, um, Vermin, and is that it? I think that might be it. And I talked about Ajax as well. And I mentioned um, Ajax in my Mortal Kombat review, um, my last review, Annihilation, because I'm playing by James Remar, who is a fantastic actor, um, in my opinion. Anything that I've seen him in, awesome. Um, so... He, they, they, they have to get back to New York. They have to get back to Coney Island is where they're set. So it's just a fun fucking film seeing them go from point A to point B, like trying to figure out the safest route home. And then they fit, then they find out like, man, every gang in the city is out to get us because we have their, we're wearing our colors to the turf. Little did they know, um, it's like an APB's put out for all gangs. Like, Hey, they shot Cyrus, the warriors did it. Um, according to Luther of the Rogues, you know, the words got out. So now they end up finding that out. Like they think we shot Cyrus and it's just a really, it's just a really fun film man. like about gang culture and shit. Like 
it's just it's such a it's like most of the, most of the time when you watch a movie with gangs and shit like like this is supposed to be realistic this is supposed to be like man gangs are fighting each other's weapons there's guns they're fighting they're oh man it's, it's just ah uh, it's it, this is kind of hurting me to watch because man this shit actually goes on in real life but it's just fucking fun man the the soundtrack is amazing like it there's a lot of like tense moments the i think it's just like one of the most perfect movies ever created like it still stands the test of time even though it was made in the 70s i just i just love it um i got into the warriors because i've mentioned a couple of times throughout this review i've played the video game um I remember seeing like a cover of Game Informer, and it was like the Warriors are here or something like that, and it was for PS2, Xbox, blah blah blah. And I was like, that looks kind of interesting. I don't know, it's Rockstar Games, so it's got to be good. I love Rockstar, so um, it came out. My sister had a copy at her house, and I was like, can I can I try it? She's like, yeah, go for, go for it, dude. And I was like, I'm surprised that she has it. I know they like they had a copy of San Andreas. Maybe it's because it's Rockstar. So I, I play it, I'm like, man, this game is really fucking fun, I want to get it. Got it, played a little bit of it with my brother. We got about halfway, and we were like thinking, maybe we should watch the, actually watch the movie. And uh, I think my parents were like, kind of like surprised that we had some knowledge of the characters. Like, maybe they thought the video game wasn't going to be, like, had that much to do with the film. But, man, it's like... Like, oh, man, like, and I can't wait to talk about the video game either, because I'm going to have much more to talk about. I think this is going to be a longer review. Maybe not, because it touches on the film, too. But after watching the movie, it became undisputedly my favorite movie for the longest time. Like, I was like, this, there's nothing that can top this. And it's still on my top three. It's my, my second favorite film of all time. My favorite non-animated film. Um, because you, if you know me, you know what my favorite film is. Um, but that, but yeah, that's my my ramblings on the Warriors. Um, what are your thoughts? If you've seen it, um, you know, comment and all that shit. Um, and thank you for watching my videos. So it means a lot. Um, bye.